Welcome to a Prevent Connect podcast, where we explore the prevention of violence against women. This is a project of the California Coalition Against Sexual Assault. I'm sharing an activity that I did not create, um, but I'm going to take credit for it today. So, this is the before and after activity, which was a, a Delta project. So, have any of you used this in your, with your local programs in your community? So, so there's a hand. So, if I forget anything, you'll be like, you forgot the afters. So, um, so what this is, it's in your, the seventh cap of your binder, and there is no fun, fancy um, PowerPoint, but I've got a marker, so we're going to do this. Um, so basically, the before and after game, um, there's two versions in your folder, um, and this is how we are going to start to um, divide and, and think about the distinction between primary prevention and um, victim services, secondary, tertiary, however, um, to what language works in your communities. And the first one we're going to look at is at the coalition level. Now this is something that I had a little hand in creating, because um, in our, our Midwest call we, we started to think, you know, this before and after activity is great for truly well local programs, but what can we do at the coalition level as we're starting to think about our org changes, as we're starting to think about our prevention efforts and outcomes. So what we came up with were these activities. And so how we, how we do this activity is these Little guys in the boxes become cards that we hand out. And then we draw my favorite thing in the world, because I am a public health head, is the social ecological model. And then we draw it as a grid. And this is before, this is after. And here's individual, relationship, community, society, right? There are actually programs in Missouri that think I have that tattooed on my back. And I don't correct them. So, so then we go, um, everyone takes a card, and, and it kind of depends on the size of your group. I tend to do it just to divide up all the cards because I like to hear what everyone's reaction is. Um, and so the first one, anyone have it out and want to read the first activity? Number one. I will, yes. Got it? Yeah, yeah. All right, the coalition proposes legislation to make it illegal for those who have protection order to own or have guns. Now this, you know, is a federal law. Um, Missouri is a state that actually doesn't have it on in our books, so it's something that we strive very hard for. And this became um, an activity on this um, game because it actually became quite a heated discussion during the staff meeting. I come in, prevention coordinator, right? I'm like, look, dudes, I'm gonna tell you what prevention is. And this ain't it. And that wasn't how I felt that day. Um, so we talked about it. And we said, you know, there's that one risk factor that says strong sanctions against violence can be um, a, a deterrent or, or a, some, somehow a protective factor for the community. And so we went back and forth. And, you know, for a while I was saying, absolutely not. It's, it's a, a victim response. And um, the scary part is that I said at one point, I disagree. And my, uh, our CEO, Colleen Cole, who can be kind of menacing, stared me down, and she thought I said, I have a degree. <laughs> and I was like, why are you glaring at me? I'm just making a point. So anyway, we talked through it, and I wasn't trying to pull out my degree card on her. Um, but anyway, so these can be fun for your staff meetings, right? <laughs> Make some friends. So these are all coalition level um, activities. Yes. Yeah. Have you talked about primary prevention before you do this? Yes, sorry, that is 
Sammy and I were all on black. You all know primary prevention. So that's always a good way to set it up. And with staff, we've done some pretty extensive work, obviously, with our um, Delta Prep dollars to do some work change and to do some training. But in a normal, you know, first time meeting with the group, we would do the one-on-one. Talk about what this um, social ecological model means, why it's tattooed on my back, what the difference between before and after is. And that was also something, you know, talking about primary versus or um, before or intervention, primary intervention. Sometimes the language won't, however you're most comfortable. So we chose to talk about it before and after. Yeah. Another modification is if you're <laughs> Here's the prevention side, here's the intervention side, or the before and after side. I decided to get rid of that line mm -hmm. because of those issues. You could make an argument in some cases, or it's somewhere in the middle, or there are components of both. So I do more of a spectrum now of, well, it's closer to primary, and then we can maybe discuss well, how can we make even more primary, or what could we change about this, that, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, yeah. awesome. <laughs> No, and I think that's what's so cool about this is basically if we just handed you the cards, you would could figure out a good way to facilitate discussion about these activities and maybe um, spark some more ideas for what to do at your own coalition or in your communities. Yeah. I think at the national first national training last year we did an exercise similar but not like you're describing particularly, but we had that sticky wall. You know, I, I think the sticky wall is so great to use for this exercise because the Activity at every level. 
And I said, all right, so let's step back. <laughs> but that is often the first response is like, but if it's here, then it's gonna affect all these, but it might end up here. And so there were a lot of um, excited people to say, we can change the world, and they will. Um, so anyway, what we had them do with that blank form is to take what they're doing at their own um, programs and their own communities and plot down where they think their work is. So, you know, if they have a batterers program, where do they think that falls? They're doing um, advocacy work with survivors, where does that fall? They're doing candlelight vigil, and so on and on and on. And so every activity, every program, every staff member, trying to think about what they're doing, how it fits in, how they can add prevention to it, um, and to plot it out. And so you've got an example of what one of our programs submitted. I think it's the We Care Inc or something, that's actually not the name of the program. Um, so they submitted that, and then at the next meeting they all came back together and shared it with each other, um, and then got feedback and critique. So what you have is what they submitted, um, and then what I have up here, which might be hard to see, is what they left with at the end of the day, which has a lot of boxes and scribbles and arrows. So what they kind of did was check themselves, and they checked each other, and they said, okay, so I, I see how helping survivors resolve grief from childhood traumas could still be at the relationship level, but maybe it's not before anymore, now that we're thinking about it. So it just it gave them another opportunity to you know, think broadly with these um, real activities that they may not do, and think about what they're doing in their own program, how they can add prevention to it, um, and where it fits in terms of the work. And really, you know, we want them to be able to get dollars for this in the state of Missouri, as well as states. And so this is just another way to help them frame and, and message what it is that they're doing. And, and so far, it's been successful. Um, you know, every, we've had three or four meetings since this first um, project day, and they come back every time, like, we tweaked it again. <laughs> we added more to it. Aren't you proud? And we're like, yes. We're going to do our own ODSS so that they can know about it. <laughs> but we will mark that we, yeah, maybe we will. No. So anyway, uh, so um, come on back up, Debbie. Is a, so yeah, so that's just another way that we took an already awesome game and tweaked it to use in, for our needs, and that's what all these games are about, right? Thank you for listening to this Prevent Connect podcast. Prevent Connect is a project of the California Coalition Against Sexual Assault with funding from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The views presented on Prevent Connect are not necessarily the views of the United States government, the CDC, or CalCASA. To learn more about Prevent Connect, visit www.preventconnect.org. For more information about CalCASA's mission or to show your support, visit calcasa.org. That's C-A-L-C-A-S-A dot org.